we got a dope guest in here for you today, the homie Jalon Hornbeck. Man, hey, he had Jalon always bring it. football players in here. He brought me a basketball. Hey, player. I finally brought a hooper. Let's get it. Hey. And so from then on, um, then I ended up meeting um, one of my coaches, Coach Chris. He's like an uncle. He's actually from LA as well. Type. And um, shoot, he he would train me. You know what I'm saying? He would actually train me, but he would train me um, not about like skill work and everything, it was all cerebral, you know what I'm saying? Reading the like, game. Okay. It was like, all right, he'll pull out a pad and pull up a defense. It was like, how do you attack this defense? Oh, that's, that's, a, you know there's a jam, that's my a first gym of the day. That's you know a jam. The first gym of the day. My uncle Chris, he was just saying like, hey, you know, maybe you should go to a place that schools already know, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like I understand like we're te at this point of Texas back then you know it wasn't a whole bunch of Ballers Life like Ballers Life really started my senior year on my way out the doors when Ballers Life Boy, kicked Ballers up Life out, came out here <laughs> out here you know Ballers saying? Life came around when World Star came around right after we was through and through <laughs> it was dumb for you know what yeah. I'm saying? it was like if you didn't like it wasn't big to bring a can like to record games or to have the had a phone now like that wasn't like, that wasn't big so nah, was, because now you like thinking you you all that and people are like oh look at him you know what i'm saying what who you think he is like that's really how it was bro like it was like man you see this per you see this person dad up here filming everything look at this geek you know what i'm saying like, <laughs> like for real I, nah, like that's how it was bro like, like you see him up here with the camcorder like who's whose father is this like, <laughs> i'm finna go at him whose father is this right like, but I'm now sorry. everybody and they mama and they going live. It's normal. You know what I'm saying? It's normal. It was like me and Jordan Woodard going uh Jordan Woodard. going like back and forth for like the starting PG role, like mm. who was, you know, managing the most <clears throat> minutes at the point. And um I was like, I was a little in my feelings about it, but it wasn't to the point where it was just like, you know, I'm a fighter, so you know, I was right. I was like, all right, you know, so you gonna scrap for your made, made the best man win, you know, Straight that up. was my thing. So um See, Jordan was supposed to come on this show too. He ain't made it yet, so I'm glad I'm getting to your story first. Right. Yeah, Jordan, yeah, homie, right. Man. Jordan, the homie for sure. But um, he was like, "Hey, I, by this point, I already told you know we already had our you know end of the year meetings. You know, uh, LK Ronald Kruger was like, hey, you know, um, you know, it's, you know it's your team next year. You and Buddy, you know, we expect great things. You know, um, you know, me and Buddy already said we was gonna get a national championship." all this other stuff and you know I told him I was coming back next year and like two weeks later you know my little bro called and so I was like bro you don't understand if you would have called me like two weeks early you know you might have had some but you know it's cool so I was like I don't know and so he called me every day for like another like two weeks Dang. and he was like hey man like he said please bro please bro please and I was like all right let me so I called LK up I was like I need to have a meeting with you and so saying I've always been the kind of person that want to, you know, help help, out. help my teammates. So if I see something, you know what I'm saying, because I, I guess I've been blessed with the IQ of this game. So if I see something that, you know, may, may help you, I'm going to tell you, you know what I'm saying, because I've never been afraid to help a person, even if they become better than me, you know what I'm saying. It's like I'm not going to block a person of a blessing, you know what I'm saying. Oh, big facts. It's not, it's not worth it, you know what I'm saying, like. World, like world, life too, life too short. You know people be saying? tripping, boy. You, you, you saying it like that because you right. thinking about how many other people be hating and yeah. they block somebody else's blessing. I mean, it, it, it happened here. You know what I'm saying? Like my freshman year, like you know, like a uh, few, like a senior guard. You know, what I'm saying he really wasn't, he wouldn't show you a pointer that you know college with no goals. You know what I'm saying? I went to college just to win. Which is cool, you know what I'm saying, if that's what you really want to do. I, would, I just love to win, so I was a winner, you know what I'm saying? So I won everywhere I was at, and I'm proud of that. Like, I set records at Monmouth, you know what I'm saying? I broke records, and I set records and broke the records that we set winning-wise, you know what I'm saying? So uh, before, before I got there, there was a 20-loss team. Right, upside down. By the time I <laughs> left, we... Right? It was 11 to 21 before I got there. When I got there, they actually was 500 because I was practicing with them. Okay. When I t got there, we won 25 games, and then we won 28, you know what I'm saying? So I flipped that whole loser column, 
my agent at the time, he said, hey, I could get you a, a, a training camp deal with the Fort Wayne Mad Ants. And, um, said, and it's in your backyard? Oh, shoot. I'm in New Jersey. This is Indiana. And he was like, hey, um, you can, he said, I can get, I just told him, I said, hey, I'm confident in my ability. I said, if you just get me out there, you give me about two weeks to kind of like, you know what I'm saying, train and work out and uh, really like, you know, put a ball in my hand. I said, man, I'm, I'm confident that, you know, I'll beat somebody else for a spot. And so, um, man, I went out there. It was a training camp deal. I was real nervous the same. So when I got out there, I must have made, like, my first two or three. And uh, believe it or not, my roommate was the first one cut. So, you know, it was just kind of like, mm, like it's real. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It was like two a days, two weeks straight. So it was like we, we added two and a half hour practices every day. And it's like... I can't really let them know that, hey, I'm really just now getting back into All some right. kind of shape. Like, I'm not really 100%. So you got to get in shape in the flow. In training camp, as well as try to, you know what I'm saying, stand out to, like, you know what I'm saying? Team. And you you the, the tech walk-on. You right, know what I'm basically. Saying? You the walk-on, so it's like, you probably not gonna get that many reps, you know what right. I'm saying? And so uh, it was just a, it was just a fight, but you know that's something I'm not I'm not I'm not, I'm you not built, afraid of. You fit, right. you know what I'm saying? So it was like it's nothing new. So um, one thing, kids, man, I went up there after practice, man. I asked the coaches, what do I need to do to make the team? You know what I'm saying? I asked the assistant coaches, all of them, and I asked the head coach at the practice, like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, what could I do? to make your team. And he said, hey, if you hit threes and play defense, it's going to be hard to cut you. Yeah. Like my life jacket, this ice in my veins is something titanic. Lockdown defense kept me out the center for detention. Divine intervention passes over to my center. Alleyways are the alley youths. Some got no looks and passed away when somebody shoot. Back in court, duo, but nobody hoops. The wrist follow through when the cuffs got a loop. Pick a book or pick the bank it book. It's just you and I out running suicides. Me, I was out running suicide. Boy, I'm going in, dropping gems that I picked up in these gems. I can't slack, I've been down and back. I'm just trying to share a few tales from this thing called life. Count my assists, man, I swear that basketball really saved my life. Yeah, uh, yeah. I swear it saved my life. Let's go.